hello friends uh, welcome to another tutorial uh, in this tutorial we will discuss uh, dynamics 365 crm solutions in depth so without wasting time let's uh, move on to the uh, tutorial so here i have prepared one slide uh, with all you know uh, required uh, points regarding uh, CRM solutions so <clears throat> let's move on to uh, that topic so first we will discuss fundamentals of CRM solution then we will discuss CRM version compatibility matrix then solution components default solution custom solutions unmanaged and managed solutions solution publisher then managed properties of solutions conflict resolution dependency tracking create creating how to create default solutions and versioning exporting importing publishing deleting solutions then multiple language supporting feature of solutions then we'll discuss solution entities and uh, you know the sql table structure of uh, solutions uh, entity then we will discuss solution segmentation so so what is a solution so the solution is nothing but a container of crm customizations that a developer creates to author and to package so that the crm solution can be distributable to other organization uh, or the solution can be you know uploaded to the dynamic crm marketplace so to be honest the crm solution is nothing but a package or a container with different types of customizations to extend it extend the dynamics 365 so when to use crm solution when we want to package some customizations intended to be distributable then we will use crm solution so how solutions are created solutions can be created using dynamics 365 user interface going through settings and solutions for that let's move on to the crm uh, system so this is the crm system so if you click the ribbon bar then we will find a settings area here you will find a solutions and uh, once you click this solution it will show you all the managed and unmanaged solutions that are uh, in the system in this organization and here you will find a new button uh, to create new solutions so once you create once you click this new so the system will prompt you to give some minimum information to create a custom solution okay so we'll come to here we'll come to here um, within some uh, time but uh, let's move on to the topic first so the next thing is crm version compatibility matrix so there is as, as you know there are a number of uh, dynamic crm versions uh, released uh, released in the market starting from 2011 to 2016 so there is always a compatibility factor uh, remains uh, while exporting solutions from one specific version to another specific version likewise if i will say the first row 20 if you export any solution from 2011 version then you can import it to 2011 2013 and 2013 service pack one and with enhanced service capabilities version but in 2015 onwards you cannot import 2011 solutions to this environment these, these versions of crm so this is the you know uh, the crm version compatibility matrix that every developer should aware of so that they will not do any mistake of exporting and inputting uh, you know uh, solutions in different and uh, versions rather they should follow the proper uh, code upgradation before migrating the uh, solution the next big thing is solution components 
as I have already told you, solution is nothing but a package of uh, different types of components, customizable components. So this is the right time to discuss what are the components that are available so that we can include that components to a solution. We have six types of component solu solution components, schema customization, security, process, user interface, analytics and templates. In schema customization, we have entity, attributes, relationships, global option sets. And in security, we have security roles, field level security profiles. And in process, we have dialogues, workflows, actions, business process flows, plugins, plugin assemblies, then processing SDK steps. Uh, so these are the steps of the plugins. Uh, then we have custom workflow activities then we have user interface in user interface customization we have application ribbon sitemap forms entity ribbons web resources like javascript xmls png files etc and in analytics we have dashboards reports and visualizations and in template area template customization we have email template contract templates article templates and mail mods so all these components can be get together to a package and to a container that's what we call a solution okay now all these components are available in solution if you open any existing solution let's open any an existing solution that i have created here you will find all these component list are given in left side panel so from this view from this form solution form we can understand that in this solution these are the options that we can include in our solution we can add entities option sets client extensions web resources processes plugins sdk and other 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 things that we have already discussed security roles prof, security profiles etc so before moving uh, to the practical things let uh, let's move on to the you know uh, the topic here the next thing is default solution and custom solution default is nothing but the system solution it represents the solution components defined within the microsoft dynamics 365 Without creating a custom solution, we can also customize a default solution that is already in the system, which defines the default behavior of the application. Many components of this system solution are customizable. As I have told you, if you go to settings and then if you click customizations, then once you click customize the system, the system will open the default solution solution so this is the solution which comes out of the box and we can edit this solution also without creating custom solution but as multiple developers are, developers are working in the system so it is better to create custom solutions or rather uh, editing this default solution as you know default solution is a unmanaged solution so any changes here will not be rolled back now here if you go to entities then you will find some entities which are uh, depicted as customizable if you see this customizable option you will find these entities are customizable some entities are not customizable like system entities okay so so as the statement said that default that many components of the system solution are customizable we can customize the default solutions uh, components here uh, right from this uh, form okay now custom solutions are created by developers or customizers top of the default solution so whatever default solution we have so this is the default solution panel so whatever custom solution we will a build that will uh, be layered on the top of this default solution okay so so 
default solution cannot be deleted so this default solution the system solution cannot be deleted now how to open system solution as i have told you go to settings and go to customization if you click customize the system here you can see the default sol solution here you can edit this and how to create a custom solution if you go to settings then you will go solutions then here here you can create a new uh, custom solution right from here in the screen now before i will start the practical things creating new custom and custom solutions let's cover some more you know theoretical things the next thing is unmanaged and managed solution unmanaged solution are solutions still under development if you are creating a custom solution and that are not ready to be deployed or that are not completed then we can call it as unmanaged solution if, so these are all unmanaged solution if i have selected this solution if you see here the package type is unmanaged so till the solution till the custom solution is under uh, development phase every solution every custom solution is called as unmanaged solution which contains some unmanaged components in the solution if you go here you will find these are all unmanaged components see the state is unmanaged so so components can be added removed delete deleted from an unmanaged solution okay so as this is an unmanaged solution we can add our components by clicking add existing and selecting the components from the left panel and we can also delete the component delete the component here but be careful if you select a component and delete it the component will be deleted from the system itself and it will crack it will break all the references that are included in different solutions so if you don't want to uh, include this component in your solution then just remove it so that the component will be removed from your solution rather it will removed from the solution package but it will remain in the system so that is the difference between delete and remove so never ever delete a component if you are not sure rather you do a remove so that the component will be removed from your solution okay now the next thing is managed solution when an unmanaged solution is imported then the components of the unmanaged solution can be directly edited so another thing is when an unmanaged solution will be imported in target target environment then all the components that are involved in the unmanaged solution can be edited managed solutions are completed and intended to be ins installed or distributed so when a unmanaged solution is completed you can export it as a managed solution if you see here there are some some solutions which are called as which are specified as managed so once the you know uh, the development page is done and you are uh, you know uh, you are very much sure that it is it is intended to be deployed in upstreams then you can export it as a managed solution for the target environment okay so when an unmanaged solution is completed then we can export it as a managed solution in the target environment managed solutions can be layered on the top of other managed solution so these are all managed solution in the system that is loaded so as the point says one managed solution can be installed top of another managed solution okay now the next thing is solution impact on application behavior as we have discussed we can have multiple managed solutions and multiple unmanaged solutions then you can see we have also a system solution so the system solution is the bottom layer and after that top of the system solution 
we have managed solutions managed solution a and managed sol and on top of that managed solution a we have a managed solution b then we have a top of the all managed solutions the unmanaged customization um, involved in the unmanaged solution is installed so the concept is unmanaged solution is installed top of the all managed solution and all managed solutions are layered top of the system solution okay so this is what the application behavior happens when multiple uh, solutions with different types managed and unmanaged solutions are uh, you know uh, deployed in an environment okay so if there is a sitemap changes in for example if there is a entity changes in we have entity in system solution and in a unmanaged customization we have an entity change then whatever changes in the unmanaged solution will be uh, shown will be reflected in the application behavior so this is what the application behavior once we deploy solutions so solution publisher solution publisher is nothing but uh, you know uh, this is this is a concept which provides a common customization prefix and a option value prefix multiple solutions can be associated with a common solution publisher the solution publisher control how managed solution can be updated when you install a managed solution the publisher is visible but you can't associate an unmanaged solution with it the publisher decides the prefix value of the customization and the option sets value initialization each organization will have a default publisher called default publisher for organization uniqueness unique name we can create our own publisher with a new prefix for the customization the maximum length of the prefix is 8 character so as we have discussed solution publisher is nothing but to define the prefix of the customizations and the default publisher of CRM has a prefix called as new underscore but if you want if you want some different prefix then you have to create a new publisher so that you will find a uh, so that all your solutions can be uh, uh, used can use that publisher to create new publisher go to customization then we have publishers click this publishers then here you will find default publisher for short chief so this is the default publisher that comes with uh, prefix new uh, but i don't want this new uh, prefix so i can create a new publisher here called as sub chief sub chief publisher the name will be automatically uh, extracted from the display name here it will allow to specify a prefix suppose the prefix is chief now see the option value prefix changes to something 58,225 what is this prefix stands for so this prefix will define all the prefixes of the all the customization that are included in this solution if you create an entity then the database entity name will be chief underscore entity the if the entity name will be travel then the name will be chief underscore travel and this option value prefix is nothing but the uh, option set uh, value if you have option set uh, suppose uh, if you have option set with three values then the option set value starts with 58,225 then 58,226 uh, like that so the numbering of the option set value starts with this prefix value you can change it accordingly your need then you, this, these are all the optional things uh, giving contact details of the solution publisher uh, so that uh, once you distribute your uh, solution they might contact you uh, when they, they face an issue or uh, the publisher details will be 
uh, exposed to the marketplace so that anyone uh, who is interested to purchase your solution they can contact you in need and you will have a marketplace but the current publisher doesn't have any solution in marketplace as i have no marketplace profile so i can do that so once i will save and close my publisher will be saved but it is saying a record with these values already exist so if i will as the system is saying it is already existing so i will not create this so rather see this is the uh, publisher that i have created with uh, prefix this so <coughs> i don't want to create this again so this is how publisher can be created and mind it publisher is mandatory for all solutions the next thing is creating a new publisher as i have already shown you how to create a new publisher the next thing is managed properties managed properties are the options defined in an unmanaged solution while exporting as managed solution if i will show you so okay before showing that in practical uh, let's discuss uh, another two point using managed properties the creator of a managed solution can control whether a solution component is customizable and which specific part of it can be customized by default the managed property settings assume that any kind of solution component is fully customizable so as we have discussed managed properties defines whether some components are customizable in the target environment uh, once it is installed for a managed solutions let's move on to the, the solution let's open the solution that i have already created go to solutions so if i will open this solution if you if we go to entities and invoice details entity you will find a managed property here if so this man once you click this managed property it will prompt you to choose some features managed properties feature what it tells can this be customized always by default the components in the solution is editable customizable but here you can restrict uh, the customization changes once you distribute the solution if you click false then nobody can uh, edit the solution components so this is how you set the managed properties while you export a unmanaged solution as a managed solution that is intended to be distributable so here is the options can change tracking be enabled can change hierarchical relationship new views can be created these are all the you know uh, options that are um, properties that are available that we can set okay now the next thing is managed property as i have shown you right now how the managed property uh, comes into picture and uh, where you set it so the next thing is interesting thing is conflict resolution as we have multiple you know uh, multiple types of solutions like managed unmanaged then customs uh, and uh, system solutions and we have multiple components which can be shared in multiple uh, solutions so there is always a conflict between solutions which contains the shared components so how this conflict gets resolved re resolved by the system so there are two methods one is merge another is top win ui components the command bar changes the ribbon bar changes form changes sitemap changes all ui component changes are merged this means solution components are recalculated from the lowest level to the highest so that the organization's unmanaged customizations are the last to be applied as i have told you here in this screenshot all these all these 
you know uh, changes all these ui changes sitemap changes let's say at this sitemap in, uh, is included in user interface component so all these solutions are calculated to ensure that the unmanaged solution changes will be uh, um, affected in the uh, will be affected in in the change so for all other solution components except this ui components any conflict is calculated in favor of customization that is applied last so if there is any conflict then the conflict is resolved by the method of top win the last customization will only be applied uh, to conflict the to resolution to resolve the conflict for managed solutions this usually means that the last solution install is applied however there is special case when an update to a managed solution is installed managed solution can preserve the changes although any changes done by unmanaged solution so this is how uh, the conflict gets resolved so the button s is the last customization button if it is a ribbon button if any if solution a has a button a and solution and solution b has a button b and and we have and we have an unmanaged solution installed top of the solution b then the changes in the unmanaged solution customization will take effect so this is the hierarchy this is the top wheel concept so so this diagram represents how conflict gets resolved the next thing is dependency tracking dependency tracking is a good concept that is comes with the solution framework the solution framework automatically identifies the dependencies of a component solution if you go here if you go to the solution let's open the solution then if you go if you select any component suppose invoice details is an entity uh, which is a component of my solution then i can select here then i can click show dependencies so that the system will tell me which are the components that are you know uh, dependencies so these are all the you know uh, components that are related dependent components okay so this, this so this functionality comes with the out of the box so every components dependency will be uh, auto identified by the solution framework so that while you export this uh, while you export the solution then if there is any dependency missing for a component in the solution then it will ask you to include this suppose click export solution then it will if you click next then it will tell you some of the components are missing if you click next no it is not coming because some dependencies are not there okay so move on to the next so let's uh, discuss this point so this so this dependency tracking ensures the integrity of the system and prevent operations that would lead to an inconsistent state deleting a component from a solution is prevented if any other component depends on it until unless you deassociate until unless you break the association you cannot delete any component from a solution if it is dependent for, for other component or some other component depends on it. Exporting a solution warns user if there are any missing components that could potentially cause failure when importing the solution in another system. So importing a solution fails if all required components are not included in the solution and also don't exist exist in the target environment so this dependency tracking is a solution framework functionality which warns user if there is any machine components then 
it allows to add you so that in target environment the solution will be imported in easy way the next thing is how to create version export import and publish and delete so so this is the practical i will show you how to create a solution if you go to settings and go to solutions you have to create a new create a new solution while creating a new solution it will ask you to specify a display name suppose give a display name soft chief solution the name will be automatically specified now as i have told you the publisher is mandatory you have to select a publisher here as I have already created a publisher, look up more records so that so this is the publisher I have created. Now I have to add this. And the configuration page is not mandatory, but configuration page is something which specifies the configuration details for your solution when you distribute to external party or uh, to the marketplace. Version is mandatory major dot minor dot build dot release dot revision so this is the four digit with uh, dot uh, separated so this is mandatory so as you know uh, a single solution might have multiple versions so this version defines uh, the uh, you know uh, the uh, um, functionality of the solution that we are upgrading so version is mandatory you can specify some description here this is a custom solution then you can specify the functionality of the solution if you wish now with this information you can save this solution so that your custom solution is created with the name sub chief solution this is the solution here you have created now you you add you keep adding your you know uh, uh, components if you want to add some entities click entities then add existing otherwise you can create new entities right here uh, so that the prefix of the name will be chief underscore uh, entity name that is defined in the publisher otherwise you can add new existing entities you can add existing entities now create new entities we can create new entities let's create an entity suppose travel world image travels select shells save now if you observe here the name is built like chief underscore travel so i have created a created an entity targeted with that publisher and i have included that in, inside my custom solution okay now once i have created a solution once i created a entity that entity component is added into the solution okay if i want to add an existing entity let's click add existing and suppose select suppose i want account entity then once you press ok it will prompt you to select all this to select the sub components of the entities in previous versions this facility was not there once in previous versions when you add an entity it always includes all the sub components like views charts fields and uh, relationships business rules etc uh, and dashboards to the uh, solution but in this version the system allows us to select the actual sub components that we need suppose i need this i need a field then i have to select this and I have to select the account number and finish now once i will in press ok only the account entities field name will be added here 
in my solution except the um, except the whole entity's information okay. that is a good thing which is called a solution segmentation so likewise we can add other components in our solution once we are sure that in plugins also you can add existing plugins if we have suppose this is my plugin now we can add here an existing plugin now so keep adding your components uh, till your development ends now once your development ends then you can save the solution and now you are ready to export the solutions solution once you export the solution it will ask you to publish all customizations if you not publish all customize customizations then the solution might not work so publish all customizations then click next once all customizations say so when once you click publish all customizations that means all the components that involved in the solution will be published now if you click next then it will show you the settings which settings you want to export if this is optional if you click customization also no problem if you click next then it will it will prompt you to define which package type you want to choose whether whether you want to export export this solution as a on managed solution or managed solution so here you can choose the package type if it is on managed solution the solution that will be exported can be imported in target environment and the components the components in the solution can be directly edited there if you want to select managed solution let's say managed solution so managed solutions can be rolled back if the solution is exported as a managed solution in target environment for some reason if you want to roll back then you can uninstall the managed solution so that your uh, customization will be rolled back now let's select managed solution and click next now it will tell you target solution of the for the dynamic 365 version on which version you want to target once you export it will prompt you to uh, save somewhere in the uh, physical folder now this is this is prompting to save your solution once it is prompted let's save it somewhere now the name is soft chief solution uh, with the version and with managed package type appended now i have exported my solution now if i want to delete this solution i can delete this solution i can delete this solution here but as this is an unmanaged solution if i will delete this solution only the solution record itself will be deleted but not the components okay now so these are all the options you can import solution and we can export the solution so these are all the options we have now let's move on to the next topic if we have anything so these are all we have discussed you can delete the solution from the system every solution before export and and after import must be published the next next thing is support multiple languages microsoft dynamics 365 natively supports uh, multiple languages whenever a language pack referred to a mui pack is installed user interface elements can be displayed in a different language so you can read this article to get more information on this topic the next thing is solution entities as you already know microsoft dynamics is nothing but a dotnet web application so its backend is sql server so to manage these solutions we have a number of entities number of tables called as solution another is publisher 
uh, we have import jobs we have solution component we have publisher address invalid dependency then dependency so these all seven tables are responsible to managing the solution entities so we can read more information on this to find out the sql level messages uh, related to these entities now solution segmentation as i have already told you the system allows you to choose the sub components of the entities so this is a great way to minimize the components that are moved in a solution to other environment so this is what we have covered now some important points deleting an unmanaged solution do not roll back the customizations rather the solution record will be deleted unmanaged customizations are considered above any managed solution while multiple developers working on same components shared by multiple solutions then the last changed will take effect so these are so this is how the solutions are ge getting created in the system and you can read these articles um, in the subchip.com um, post and so this is uh, the this is all about solutions we have covered and if we go to uh, the solutions this solution is created with version 1.0.0.0 so this is once you export it as on managed solution that is uh, distributable uh, so so as i have exported the solution the exported solution is stored here now if i will open this managed solution i will find all my components are uh, packaged here so these are all the plugin assemblies that i have added and the, the entities that i have added included in this customization xml so we will analyze this uh, you know uh, solution zip file uh, components more um, somewhere uh, you know uh, near near future but so this is all about the scope of this tutorial uh, how to create you know uh, solutions and uh, how to export it and thank you for watching the tutorial uh, please subscribe the channel uh, and please follow this um, website the softchip.com and uh, here you will find all the dynamic crm related articles and news and some interesting posts here so you can also uh, check out my uh, youtube channel uh, which is called as uh, youtube.com mm. so you can subscribe here so thank you for watching again uh, i hope uh, i will have another uh, exciting article uh, in my next tutorial um, thank you again